You may have thought, hey, I just want to have something move straight, but I can't use pneumatics, or I need more reach, so I'll just use these linear slides. Well, I thought this, but when I went to go assemble it, I realized that the screws that attach the gear strips to the slides interfere with the screws needed to attach the slide holders to your structure. Well, after some thought, this is my team's solution to the problem. Okay, listen, that was past me. I'm interrupting this admittedly fairly nice video, if I do say so myself, to tell you that the way I was going to show you is not the best way. I was going to show you a way that involved drilling and using aftermarket nuts, but through the magic of online forum technology, I have learned that that was not the best way to do this. Here is the best way that I have found so far. These slide holders can be, when screwed in from the other side, attached with normal sized screws. Just pop two screws in to attach the slide holder to the bracket and you are good. Next, pop a bearing in between the motor and the bracket using the long motor screws. Pop another bearing across from it. This helps to stabilize the gear and put less strain on the motor. I used a high strength 36 tooth gear sandwiched between two size two spacers to drive the linear slide, using two shaft collars to hold the shaft in place. After tightening these two shaft collars, you could add another one on the other side, but it's not super necessary. Trim the shaft if you want, and there you go. You have your linear slide. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more robotics and electronics content, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.